Hey guys, it's been a while. Before I start the video, I just want to firstly apologize for the lack of videos over the last year. The main reason for this is that I've been super busy working with my team beyond creative over the last year. Here are just some of the projects we have done. We built the Balenciaga hub that was featured in September, where I had to model an exact replica of the Speed Sneaker shoe. We also did the Cause hub that just came out in January. There are a ton of other projects that we did as well that I won't go into right now, but you can check them all out on our website, for which I have left the link in the description. So this project is not actually a Mac and Makes project, but is a Beyond Creative project and wasn't built entirely by me, but with the help of our new team member, Gabo Capo, who built the majority of this. I'm super excited to show you how this was built, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the video. Before we started any building on this map, I came up with this PowerPoint presentation showcasing the concept of the map. I have learned that it is always super important, especially when building with other people, to have the entire build planned out from start to finish so everyone knows exactly what needs to be done. The first part of this map that needed to be built was the skeleton of the ship. This was done using this indestructible prop from the indestructible gallery. Gabo Capo studied this 3D model very carefully to get the exact proportions of the ship correct. It is extremely important to get this perfect as it will determine the ship's shape throughout the entire building process. The next step was adding the hull of the ship. This was built entirely out of this wooden prop which was perfect for this build as it has two nicely textured sides and a good render distance when scaled down. Me and Gabo decided to split the work in two, with me tackling the front and him tackling the back of the ship. Building the front was quite the challenge as every prop needed to be meticulously resized to construct the curved shape of the bow. Once I had the shaping done, I added the bow sprit and other details to make it feel like an 18th century ship. While I built out the front, Gabo built out the stern. This was also quite a challenge as he had to make sure the hull's shape followed the skeleton of the ship. Another huge challenge that he faced was creating the double tiered windowed cabins which are all made from custom window frames to make it even more satisfying when you destroy them. Now you might be wondering why we left spaces in between the hull. Well this is actually where we are building our cannon holes. These are just wide enough for you to be shot out of with a cannon and for you to be able to walk straight through. The hull was now completely finished so we started adding the different floors, rooms and walls to the interior of the ship. These were also made out of the same piece we used for the hull of the ship so that players can break their way through each floor to access the reactor deck located at the bottom of the ship. Since every part of the ship will be accessible to players, we had to be mindful of what kind of rooms we were integrating. We left space for a storage area, a doctor's surgery, a dining room, kitchen, captain's quarters and captain's office. The last step was adding all the little details to the interior to bring it to life. Gabo first started with the captain's office which will also double as the player's spawn room. He even added the captain's first mate desk next to the captain's which I thought was a nice touch. The next rooms that were built out were the storage room, the kitchen, the doctor's surgery and the most difficult room of all, the engine room. The art direction for this room was mainly inspired by steampunk designs and was achieved in creative mode by adding a lot of crisscrossing pipes to the deck and by using the engines from the Pandora gallery. The positions of the three reactors for the game mode was also decided during this step. The final details were then added to the top and mid decks which involved placing a lot of the cannons and cannonball boxes to make it feel like a gun deck. Now that the entire ship was finished, we could start working on the balloon and sails that would sell the fact that this ship could fly. Again, me and Gabo split our tasks in two with him building out the rudder sails at the stern of the ship. While he worked on this, I started creating the main balloon. I used this piece from the princess gallery to make the main structure of the balloon and then added wooden rings and details to make it look like the balloon had an internal structure to it. For the sails on the ship we could not use traditional ones as the balloon was in the way. To solve this problem we created sails that folded out from the balloon and the hull of this ship. These kind of resemble the wings of a dragon which adds a bit more of that fantastical element to the map. The final step in completing the map was adding the game mode to it. 
There were a couple of extra features we had to build out in order to make that game mode function. The objective of this game will be to blow up the enemy ship by taking out all of their reactors. For this to be possible, Gabo had to make a copy of the ship and change the colours of it to red to make it more clear to players which was their ship and which was the enemy's. I then made the pre-game lobby for this map, which is overlooking the entire battlefield. This is where players will be able to upgrade their weapons and check their lifetime score and eliminations on this map. With that complete, the map was finally finished and ready to be published. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video, and again, I apologize for the lack of uploads over this past year. If you want to join in on some of the playtests we do or chat with the rest of Beyond's members, please join our community server, which I have left a link to below. For all you guys who are still watching and are the real Makamex fans, here are some teaser images for our next map we will be releasing in the coming month. That's it for me guys, see you in the next video.